Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Bardon. Welcome back to yet another video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about a very, very popular product in the hockey community. And that's going to be the Hockey Sauce Kit. This is going to be sort of a review. Let's get started. Alright guys, so first, let's talk about the price point before we get into any of the quality or any other issues like that. I'll be the first one to say it. The Hockey Sauce Kit is insanely expensive. For one sauce kit, without the shooting pad, without any extra pucks that it comes with, just the sauce kit, it's $60. That's as much as the brand new Call of Duty Black Ops 4. That's insane. We'll talk more about the quality and how quickly it breaks later on in this video. If you want the one sauce kit and it comes with a shooting board that looks just like this along with a couple of like four pucks I think, it's going to set you back $90 for a tiny little shooting board that you can carry on with you and the sauce kit. Now let's talk about the full bundle. This thing comes with two shooting boards, two sauce kits, and like eight pucks. And the whole marketing push around the sauce kit is this sauce game where you and a friend line up your sauce kits and you sauce it in and you see who can make a round of sauces, right? And in order to play that game, you have to spend $150. I'm not joking. $150 on those two sauce kits, two tiny little shooting boards, and a couple of pucks. That being said, I think it's time to talk about the quality. Because if you're spending that much money on a product, it has to be worth it. It has to be able to last longer than two months. Let's get in to how good it is, slash how bad it is. Guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. The quality of this thing is absolute garbage, all right? So you're spending a ton of money. We've already established that. And when you actually get the sauce kit, the little ramp, which is pretty much essential to it, so you can land it on the shooting board, it goes into the ramp, goes into the sauce kit during that sauce kit game thing, right? That thing breaks so fast. You just have to be using the rubber pucks that you can buy, of course, for extra money on their website, or a green biscuit, because if you use normal black pucks, like I did with my sauce kit, it just breaks so quickly. And you might be saying to yourself, right? Well, Bardown, maybe they're not meant to be used with black pucks. They are. When you buy the bundle, they come with eight ounce black pucks. So they are supposed to be used with the sauce kit. Now let's talk about the netting. You see this hockey shot net? This has been blasted repeatedly, and it is not broken. After me using it like four times, I completely destroyed the netting. And the worst part about this is the sauce kit doesn't come with a replacement ramp or some extra netting. No, you heard me right. You have to buy this on their website. Their product breaks so easily. And in order to get the full use that it's designated for, you have to buy even more parts. Netting is like 10 bucks. A ramp is like 15. It's absurd. Hey guys, so I know this review has been mostly negative, but there are some good things about the hockey sauce kit. One of them being that if you don't have a friend to pass with, or, or if you want to work on your passing but don't want to just pass it into the net, you can use your sauce kit as a target and it's great for that. You can work on your sauces or your normal passes if your ramp is in good condition. And in that respect, it's a very good product. Anyway guys, that's going to bring us to the end of this video. So if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more reviews and other type of hockey content in the future. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.